Hello, this is Mr. Chabber. We have a different background, it would seem. Um, let me adjust this camera just a tad. But yeah, I think this is maybe the final showdown for us. All right. And of course, let me adjust this camera. There we go. Anyway, now it's time to head out. Um, and we have to save the world. We have to go find Palkia. <clears throat> put Palkia within our party. And then go face Dialga. I'll go ahead and get Palkia. And there's Kagita there. Let me go ahead and uh, grab Palkia first, because I do need Palkia. <clears throat> Alright, where's Palkia? There's Palkia, look at beautiful. Beautiful. What Pokemon should I put up? I do feel like uh, we should put... Some of these has stuff that they can do. I don't think Togekiss can really do much, though. Um, I'll just put Togekiss up just for right now. <clears throat> and watch this, guys. Watch this. Hi, Palkia. What's up? Alright, come on, Palkia. We have a world to save. All right, uh, Kagita's here. And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate on top of Mount Coronet. Seems a vicious battle might await you. I, I, I guess I'm going. I don't know. I, I guess I'm going. <clears throat> Come now, child. You did not choose this burden. Its mighty weight fell on you. I'm not doing the voice right now, because my... I don't think I could do it right now. Um, but you will encounter the, at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of all time, is allowed to run wild. Time itself will twist and bend here, and eventually the whole world may be broken. You hear, you hear that, Adamin? There is a time lizard with the space lizard. Okay, I will. I've already got Palkia. Hey, this is an intriguing village. Yeah, the Clothier doesn't really have much to offer. I know, I've been there. I don't know, I, I like this outfit I've got. Alright, Mr. Trevor, once you feel ready, set out. I am ready. Alright, oh, where am I going? This way. Summit Camp. We're going to be right there at the summit. Alright, we'll go up here. Oh, Professor's just chilling out there. Enter now. Whew. I didn't know if I'd be able to get in there or not. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there's um, Volo right here. Just the boy I've been waiting for. Came by various sundries at the base camp. Thought it'd be helpful to you. Here, closer at the temple. 
front row seat. There's a chance uh, to see you in the world of myth and legend. I'll be creeping closer once the battle actually begins. Don't worry about me. I'm capable of taking care of myself. Besides, uh, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I have no doubt you'll have this whole thing beat in a neat bow. All right. He's got... Oh, he's got items. Um, I've got a lot of those. I want... A... Oh, I don't have much money. Oh, I've got stuff to sell, though, right? All right. All right. Oh, I don't. Oh, let me think. There might be stuff in here I could sell. A green shard. Here we go. Sell some of that stuff. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. Use experience candy. Um, throw that to Gastrodon. All right, let's head up. Actually, what moves do you have, Palkia? Earth power. Oh, Earth power is exactly what I want you to have. Um, um, oh, they're all right moves, I guess. I would like to replace uh, Hydro Pump. Or actually, Aquatel. Yeah. I don't have anything that I want to replace it with. So I guess it is time to face our fears and quell the anger of the Lord of Time. <clears throat> it, really, it really made sure to fixate up there. Alright, we're up here. We're up here. Back at Coronet. Um... I had to let my cat out of here because she sneaks in here. And if she's in here and she wants out, she will scratch on that door to let her out. So I went ahead, I let her out. The unfortunate thing is she actually started doing this when I was up here a little bit more. So there's a lot of stuff that ended up getting missed. So, we're, we're, we're going to fix this in post. So, yeah, this is where the final battle will be. This is the finale, I feel. We have to face Dialga. We have the blessing of um, Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. And here we go. Yeah, it was about here where she starts scratching, so I had to miss the whole cutscene. So I had to, I went ahead and went back to fix this, but we're going to throw Palki in there. Because Dialga is going to try to attack us, and it's going to destroy the temple. I guess that's going to be what happens to the temple while it's all in ruin. Um, once you get here in Diamond and Pearl. And Palkia is here. <coughs> Sorry. Ready to defend us. Wow, that, that destroyed the whole entire temple. Alright, Palkia is going to shoot a pink beam at it. What in the world? What did you do, Dialga? Why are you look why do you look like a deer? With a plume as a tail. That is that is an interesting look. That is crazy looking. But anyway, let's hop right in here. 
All right, let's see. Oh, all right, so we're just gonna have to, and that's still purple, so we have to go this way. Okay. All right. Dang, I feel like that was a little close for comfort. Oh, you're gonna switch it up on me, okay. What are you doing now? Oh, you're going back to this. Okay. I thought it was going to hit me with a new beam. Alright, we'll just... Alright. So this thing doesn't get tired. You just have to constantly hit... Oh. And I'm never going to, like... Predict that because it's like... Oh, that's a new... Okay. I think that's basically Draco Meteor that we're seeing. That's basically Draco Meteor. Okay, I'm gonna get, keep a distance, though. Because once it does the little blue pulse... Like that. We want to have a distance on it. The alga? Oh shoot! What is it doing? What are you doing, brother? It's building up! Can I... Sorry Typhlosion, you were the first one there. 65, okay. You're faster though. So, um... Flamethrower will be nice. Well, flamethrower. Show it your power, flamethrower, uh, Teflusion. There's a crack up there. How long has that been up there? Oh, what did you just use? Alright, come back. You did a good job at smacking it. Now, Palkia, this is your turn. Yeah, look at Dialga, run! You better run, Dialga. Earth power. We can fit two Earth Powers in here. Yeah, watch this. Second Earth Power. Alright. Throw the bombs. It's the time bombs. Alright, it's down to one health. I wonder... This is it. We caught it. There's a little shake. A second shake. A third shake. It did the three shakes, which none of the other Pokeballs have done this whole game. Ah! And we fixed the sky! Fixed it. Alright, he caught it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying. He actually went and caught it. Contained the first thing in the origin ball. Finally. Wow, we did that. And everyone's here. He's co Commander's actually crying. Commander's there crying. No, he's like, back to business. You just throw them? Is that what it's implied? I don't think I deserve the the sumo throw. You just throw them? That's assault. But we all overcame this calamity working as one. Gather your clans. This is a great celebration Husui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? 
Well, since it turns out we're both following the true Almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess times we fight over those who were wrong and right is ancient history now. Yeah, so... They realize that Palkia and Dialga, are bo they both exist. And not only that, some kid just caught both of them. So they're n there's no point in praying to them. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just noticing, noticing the portal's gone. But I'm like, yeah, forget that place. I don't need to go back. Who needs to go back anyway? Oh, well, it's credits. So what I've heard is actually... <clears throat> these credits right here is actually the middle point of the game. That there's actually a whole second half to this. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, we will be playing some of that since... I mean, there, there could be like a debate whether it's post-game content or main storyline content. But from what I've heard, this is... The halfway point, sort of like if you're playing Heart Gold Soul Silver, um, beating the champion there is just the halfway point. You have a whole other region that you have to go through. So I feel like it would make sense for us to, you know, play the second half of the game. But as you can see, um, it's giving us a nice little rundown of all the things that we faced throughout the adventure. You know, um, the person here, Arazu, who we thought was going to do a better uh, job styling her hair, but she didn't do anything different. Um, the two couple from the beach, um, Basque Legion, who helped us swim across the Hisui region and get attacked by Gyaradoses. Um, and then um, Ingo, which I thought was a really cool thing to include. That just gives you an idea that you're not the only one here from a different time. Ingo somehow got sucked in this. And he has a twin brother, does he not, in black and white? So that leaves some questions. What's his twin brother? Like, how's he reacting to all this? Anyway, Avalug was a terrifyingly cool battle. Um, I thought it had been cooler if we were on its back, but of course, I don't think it could turn its head like that, like how it was picturing. Um, we find out the the guy that's been fixing us, um, Potato Moki the whole time was a secret ninja. Which was an amazing um, reveal. And we're able to um, make it to the end. So, or the halfway point. This is the first half of the game. Because there's a whole second half where stuff happens. Um, but anyway, this was an amazing game. Uh, one, I would say this is the best Pokemon game in a long time. I know everyone has their own opinions on what makes a good Pokemon a good Pokemon game and what generation is the best, what Pokemon game is what people are looking for in a Pokemon game. However, I feel like this I feel like this everyone that's a Pokemon fan can agree this is a great game. Um, so if you haven't got this game yet, you should because it is awesome. It has a cool storyline, has an amazing catching mechanic. Uh, you don't have to, you know, do the individual um, encounters and then throw a Pokemon. You just throw them in the overworld. I think that's a cool thing, and I want to see that uh, going forward. I actually will make a video. Um, things from Legends that I would like to see carry on into future Pokemon games, like Generation 9. Which, I don't know if this counts as Generation 9. I don't think it does. I think this is still considered Generation 8. Um... So, they're doing a lot of different things um, with Pokemon games, and we're probably going to see some great stuff coming up. Of course, this, I'm actually recording this before the big announcement that's set to happen from Pokemon. Um, so, it could be a new Pokemon game that they announce, or it could just be like DLC or something. Uh, by the time you watch this, you probably already know what that is. Anyway, if you like this, thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next episode of Legends Arceus. And before we leave, my phone's ringing. Take out all Pokemon. Oh yeah, and I woke up. So yeah, we will be doing some more of this.